welcome back. Today we're going to look at lesson four or five, which is our bank statement reconciliation. So what does it mean to reconcile? To reconcile means to compare your check register with your bank statement to make sure that they agree. Now you might not have ever heard it actually being called reconcile before because usually we say that we are balancing our checkbook. So if you've ever heard your parents say balancing your checkbook, this is what they mean that they are doing. They are matching what their statement balance says from the back, uh, from their bank statement to what their actual check register check registers say that they have. Okay, so let's look at our lesson formula. Our lesson formula says that we are looking for an adjusted balance today. So that adjusted balance would be your most up-to-date balance in your checking register. And how we figure that out is we find the statement balance from our bank statement and then subtract any outstanding checks, payments, and or debits that haven't cleared through the bank yet. And then we add in any outstanding deposits that might have been made after the bank statement was mailed. Okay. So let's look at our first example. Our first example says that we received our bank statement and it said that our statement balance was $723.54. We wrote a check to the lawn service that had not been cashed yet. And we also deposited money that they, after, that they, after they sent out the statement. What is your adjusted amount? So we're going to start with that statement balance of $723.54, and we are going to subtract out any outstanding checks, and then we're going to add in any outstanding deposits, and that's going to give us an adjusted amount of $903. So that amount is what you should check and have in your check register as well as matching on your bank reconciliation statement. All right, take a few minutes on page 193 in your, te in your textbook and try the two concept checks. When you're ready, go ahead and play the video and see your answers. So for concept check number one, you should have got a total of $275.49 for your adjusted balance. For concept check number two, you should have got $916.33. All right, for our last problem, now this came out of the book and it's really on page 194 and 195 in your textbook. This is number three. And what I've done was I copied a blank form of a reconciliation table from the back of my bank statement. And if you've had a minute to download that, the PDF that I put on Google Classroom, then you can do all your work right in this worksheet. So it says Joseph's check register balance is $8,754.33. He compares his statement with his check register. He notes that the bank paid him $286 in interest and deducted a $1.20 service charge for bill payment. So those were not already on his check register, so we're going to have to add those in. He finds these outstanding checks and deposits. So these are the checks and deposits that did not clear through the bank. What you should do is look at the reconciliation table that they have on page 195. You should see that the bank statement has a total of $11,158.49. Now, if you compare that what it, with what it says the check register is, the check register balance, I'm actually going to put down here on line 7, says that we should have $8,754.33. Now, what our goal is, is to get these two totals to match. That's why we're trying to balance the two values that their check register and the bank statement says that we have. All right, so in order to do that, we want to add in any outstanding deposits. Now, this information came from page 194. There was an outstanding deposit of $805.14. That was only one transaction, so I'm going to total that up here. 
the draft amounts are that there were two checks. One was for check 845 for an amount of $751.75, and one was for check 847 for an amount $2,455.89. When we total those together, we should have a total of $3,000. $207.64. All right, now let's do our balancing. So it says add the total of the deposits that are outstanding. That number comes from here, $805.14. When I add those together, you should get $11,963.63. Then we're going to subtract the total of drafts outstanding coming from line 5. So we added the 805 value. We're going to subtract the $3,207.64 value to have a total of $8,755.99. Now you can see this is what my statement balance should be and my check register, but that's, they're still not the same. And the reason for that is is that the bank paid him 286 in interest. So we need to add any deposits that the bank added that we did not have on our check register. So I'm going to add that 286 right here. In addition to that, the bank deducted a dollar 20. So we're going to deduct the dollar 20 there and total that up and that gives us $8,755.99. From there, you can see that our two amounts are count balance and now our adjusted statement balance match, or they are balancing to one another. All right, this concludes Lesson 4-5. Please send me any emails if you have any questions.